As a student of history, let me remind you all the facts. The first millennium, Kashmir was the hub of Buddha and Hindu. Then in the 1200s, Muslims started pilgrimage to Kashmir. Oh no. Saborno Isaac, known as God of Mathematics. I came to Columbia University not to praise the Randra Madhya Mantan, but to criticize their policies on Kashmir. By revoking the special status of Article 370, India gave Pakistan a chance. A chance to lose Kashmir in a political pawn. I came here to tell Mr. Modi to restore Article 370 immediately. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not next month. Not actually here. Called death. And I came here to tell Mr. Khan to stop using Kashmir as a political pawn. I was born in an American Muslim family, but I am not going to give this speech as an American citizen. Nor will I give it as a Muslim, but I will give it as a human being. Because my identity as a human is larger than my identity as a Muslim. When I look at the world, from Syria to Palestine, from Burma to Kashmir, I hear cries and torture, and I see the tears and blood of oppressed people. I know my speech won't be able to change the behavior of Mr. Modi or Mr. Khan, but it will give the people of Kashmir hope. It will give them strength, but most important, it will give them a strategy, a strategy to turn Kashmir from a political part to the lighthouse of the world. I was born in an American Muslim family, but I am not going to give this speech to an American citizen, nor will I give it as a Muslim, but I will give it as a human being. Because my identity as a human is larger than my identity as a Muslim. My father told me a story when I was four that his uh, father, his grandfather, Harun al Rashid, told him when he was four. Harun told my father that Harun's father's name was Malavi Abdul Hadi. Hadi was in a mosque in a local mosque. Hadi's father was converted from Hinduism to Islam. So that means my great 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 grandfather was originally Hindu. This is why I go to give this speech as not an American citizen, not a Muslim, but a human being. It was 2007. My father went to India for the first time to launch a book ceremony at Park Hotel. Dr. Muhammad Yunus came as a chief guest to the ceremony. In that ceremony, my father revealed that, as I said, his great, great, great grandfather was once Hindu. The evening, a Muslim man angrily knocked on his door. And once he opened the door, the Muslim man screamed at my dad. Never, never tell anyone your relationship with Hindu, because Hindus are kafir, and their religion is fake. My dad was so stuck upon listening to this hate-based ideology that he couldn't sleep for the next five days. What I learned from my dad is that you should never insult any. Yes, any religion, including Hindu. If the Muslim Party BJP thought that by removing Article 370, they corrected a historic blunder, but they actually killed a historic fact. I agree with what Mark just said. Prime Minister Modi killed India's reputation as the largest democratic country on earth. As a student of history, let me remind you all the facts. The first millennium, Kashmir was the hub of Buddha and Hindu. Then in the 1200s, Muslims started pilgrimage to Kashmir. Oh no. Then millions of Hindus and Buddha were converted to Muslims. By 1340, Muslims started ruling Kashmir, which meant that the majority 
of Casimir was Muslim. Like 1440, 90%, 9 out of 10 people in Kashmir was Muslim. Then the Samir dynasty uh, took over Kashmir, ruled from 1440 to 1586, or 146 years. Then, Kuga Emperor, aka Emperor Akbar, defeated the Samir dynasty and ruled for the next 214 years. Then, uh, uh, the government became so corrupt that even Muslims were starting to support the Sikh revolt. No, Sikh isn't the name, it's the religion of someone called Ranajit Singh. Uh, Ranajit Singh uh, took over Kashmir later in the 1800s. Ranajit Singh took over and ruled for the next 46 years, which is not that long, but still, uh, until the British defeated him in 1846. Uh, then the British took over from 1846 to 1947, uh, or a uh, uh, grand total of 101 years. Then, uh, as soon as the British started ruling, they put they put Jammu and Kashmir together. In 1941, they conducted a census, a census to uh, find the population of their uh, new Jammu-Kashmir mix. And the results were 77% Muslims, 20% Three percent Hindu. Sorry, with the other way. Twenty percent Hindu and three percent Hindu. Nineteen forty-seven is when the British had realized they lost their policing power over Kashmir to America. They freed all the British colonies around the world, including the ones in India. Mahatma Gandhi wanted to keep India together, but Muhammad Ali Dina wanted to tear it apart. Muhammad Ali Dina won the argument and got to tear India into two parts, Hindustan and Pakistan. Kashmir didn't want to join either of the countries, but ever since the 1941 census, Pakistan always pretended that Kashmir was part of Pakistan. However, Kashmir kept rebelling, and as a result, on October 22, 1947, Pakistan lost peace, and it burst it as it sent past two militias into Kashmir. An effort to capture, to uh, terrorize the capital, Srinagar. However, the people of Kashmir did not like this uh, aggressive behavior of Pakistan, so they decided to call help from India, just like the way Bangladesh did in 1971. And India agreed, but only under one condition. The Kashmir would join India as a state. The Kashmir also only agreed under one condition. Uh, India would let Kashmir exercise autonomy, always exercise autonomy over everything except for the fear. They both agreed. In Article 370, it created an added to the Indian Constitution. A, uh, if Indian Army started an end to in Kashmir to kick out uh, any Pakistan team of militia. But as a result of uh, from, from it, it, the Indian soldiers kicking out the Pakistani terrorists, the first Indo-Pakistan war began. The war broke out between two 
newly formed country, India and Pakistan. India won, but ever since Pakistan lost, it has been thinking of some other ways to try and capture Kashmir. One of those ways is terrorism. Once again, Mr. Modi decided to remove Article 370 and to the huge security claim there, which is dangerous and wrong. Pakistan will lose that opportunity in the future to mislead an educated country and use them to take revenge, revenge against India and also use terrorist attacks like the ones in February which killed over 40, yet 40 Indian soldiers. But Kashmir should never use terrorism to defeat Mr. Mudd because doing so would allow the Pakistan to use Kashmir as a political problem. But if they want to take revenge, they should divorce but with two evils. Pakistan and violence. They should, they should embrace education, especially math and science. Now I want to talk to the people of Kashmir as directly as I possibly can. Give up terrorism. Stop sending your children to Lashkar e Taiba to receive Taliban training. You do not need to make them Osama bin Laden. Rather, plan a dream in the mind of your children that they too can become the next Sir Isaac Newton and, uh, or Albert Einstein one day. And if, they, uh, if every child grows up with this dream in their mind, uh, that, uh, they, uh, that they will at least become APJ Abdul Kalam, if not Newton or Einstein. Uh, if, we, if we start nurturing our children from today, in 20 years, we will have at least 5,000 APJ Abdul Kalam. That, uh, that way, Kashmir will not only turn into the lighthouse of India, but the lighthouse of the world. I decided to publish this book in India for Mr. Modi because Mr. Modi is not a human, he is a Hindu. When he read this book, he will become a true human. There are no Hindu human, there are no Buddha human, there are no Christian human, there are no Muslim human, there is no Jewish human. They're just the human. Once he read this book, he will become the human. He will go to Lok Sabha and they say, As a Hindu, I love Hinduism, but I also love all other religions, including Islam. I go to Vidhan Sabha and say, as a Hindu, I love celebrating Durga Puja. I also love celebrating all other religions. I know I won't be able to find a publisher in Pakistan, so I'll go to Islamabad and sit down on the street and wait until Mr. Khan comes out of his office and takes this book from my hand. Yes, from my hand. Once he reads this book, he will become a human. Mr. Khan is not a human. He is a Muslim. There are no Muslim humans. There are no Jewish humans. There are no Christian humans. There is no Buddha human. There is no Hindu human. Remember what I said. They're just the human. Once Mr. Khan reads his book, as I said, he will become a human. He will go to the Pakistan parliament and say to all the Kashmiris, Stop sending your children to Laskar e Taiba to receive Taliban training. You do not need to make them Osama bin Laden. Rather, plant a dream in the mind of your child that they too can become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. He will also tell everyone, I will stop supplying bombs to Kashmir and stop supplying books. I will stop supplying bombs to Kashmir and start supplying books. Saborno said that he will send a copy of his book, The Love, 
to Modi and Imran to turn them to human. Many believe that this speech will give Kashmiri parents a new strategy to make Kashmir the lighthouse of the world. Watch this historic speech in which a child shares his dreams of how to empower two billion Muslim people, not through bombs, but through books.